that's my background for today because we're basically going to do life problems to fuck off. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Rana. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is inspired by you guys because I asked you what you wanted to, wanted to hear me talk about and a lot of you said that you wanted me to give you advice on how to deal with any hard situation in life. Now, we all know that life is extremely uncertain but the one thing that we know for sure is that we're going to have really good times and we're going to have really bad times. But how does one deal with all of the bad times, especially since they seem to outweigh the good times more often than not? Well, I do have a way to deal with this and this is based on my own experience and things I've learned from other people. But before we go into it, I want to tell you that these are not quick fixes. These are not things you can just immediately apply in a situation and suddenly you'll be able to breeze through life. These are things which require introspection, which require you challenging the way you think and which require you to really take out time and effort and think about these things actively every day but if you do do it every day and if you if you make it a habit I assure you you will be able to deal with anything life throws at you and you will be one of the strongest people that you know so let's get into it number one you need to differentiate between an event and experience we cannot control the things that happen to us, but the things that happen to us are events. How we look back on them and how we think of them once we are past them, that is what makes them an experience. And what makes them an experience is how we are interpreting them. For instance, let's say I had a breakup, right? Now the breakup is just an event by itself. Me thinking it's a bad breakup is because of how I interpreted the experience because I got really upset at the time, I got into a fight at the time, I maybe went through a depression, I maybe went through a phase where I lost control, I lost a sense of self. All of that is what makes it an experience. So it's really important to know that when at the moment when you are in a challenging situation, you need to say to yourself that this is just the event. But this is not what my experience is going to be. I am the one who shapes my experience. That's number one. Number two, how do you shape your experience? Well, we all have such fixed ideas about who we are as people, right? Think of your ideas of who you are as a brick. You built like this prison around yourself because you're limiting yourself by the ideas of who you are. We can all be different people in different situations and we are sometimes aren't you the person who's the life of the party and the very next day you could be the person who just wants to sit at home watch netflix and sleep under their covers you can be multiple people at like different times as the situation requires so why is it that when it comes to situations we suddenly limit the idea of who we are and who we can be we say, I cannot deal with this situation because I am someone who hates conflict. I am someone who hates confrontation. I am someone who is not strong enough. But why? Who said you aren't that person? You are the one deciding that. You are the one who can say that I may be someone who doesn't enjoy confrontation. But who do I need to be in this situation? If in the situation you need to be someone who is bold, if in the situation you need to be someone who is strong, if in the situation you need to be someone who opens up, you can be that person. And once you decide who you are going to be, that will help shape your experience a lot more. I always thought that I was a strong person, but when I was given my diagnosis, I was scared. I was so, so, so scared. And at that time, it really challenged my idea of who I was because how can I be scared and a brave person at the same time, right? So at that time, I thought to myself, who is it that I need to be right now? When I got my diagnosis, I thought, who is it that I need to be right now? Right now, I don't need to be strong, but I don't need to be scared either. I just need to be a person who is able to take the information and do what is needed to maintain, to just maintain my health till I get back home and that's the person I decided to be in the situation and that's what influenced my experience some an experience that could have been really negative became quite positive in my opinion the third thing is perspective when you're in a harsh situation it's very 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 difficult to have perspective 
because we start doing what if it, what if the past what if i hadn't done that what if things had gone this way what if something like this had happened we start what ifing the future what if everything goes wrong what if i'm a complete failure we all tend to think about the worst case situation right which is natural because when you're in a hard situation your mind suddenly is going through everything it's ever experienced and everything that can go wrong in order to find a solution but that's not really helpful because that's just sort of you panicking what you really need at this time is to focus so when you are in a difficult situation just set one goal i am asking you to set a single goal and focus only on that when you have only one goal that you focus on when you limit all your energies towards that one thing everything else simply fades away and as it fades away it goes away from your from your perspective you'll be able to you'll be able to think more calm you'll be able to view the situation more logically more rationally you'll be able to see your course of action more clearly but all of this will only start when you focus on one thing when i was diagnosed the one thing i focused on was getting back home in one piece that's it i just wanted to get back home without any incidents without having to go back to the hospital again that was my one goal have a single goal but you do need to have that one goal in a way so the fourth thing is kindness you need to be kind to yourself and to other people and kindness is a term which has which i learned from arjun bram a monk who talks i listen to a lot and i'll link one of his talks down below but it basically means being consciously kind to yourself and to other people when we are in difficult situations we tend to be real dicks to ourselves because we abuse ourselves all the time we say i'm such an idiot i'm such a fool i i got into this situation it's all my fault i do these things all the time or we take it out on someone else i hate that person he is the one who did this to me he it's his fault or it's her fault and if i had never met them i wouldn't have had all these problems but uh, all of this negative energy just makes a such a hard situation seem much 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 worse because if you think about it you're focusing on everything negative or everything that can go bad right now instead you need to come back you need to come back to the center and you need to look at yourself and say be kind to yourself and say that i am a person who's going through a difficult situation right now this situation would be difficult for anyone who faces it so it is okay it is okay to feel however i feel if you look at someone else and you feel a deep hatred for them and you feel a lot of anger towards them look at them and say that they do not know why they hurt me they even if it was on purpose that is their problem it is their problem it is not my problem their reasons why they did something or their reasons for acting in a way all i can control is what i do with myself how i act how i deal with the situation so be kind to yourself and be kind to the other person too the last thing is to welcome it whenever you're in a hard situation i want you to say to yourself i expected that because the minute you start saying that the minute you start welcoming hard situations they don't seem that hard anymore you may not have expected it at all you may not always expect things to go wrong but you should because that's the only thing we know for sure the things will go wrong anything that can will go wrong but here's the thing right think about all of the horrible experiences you've been through yes they were hard but look at the person you've become thanks to those experiences it is only when we go through difficult situations that we are able to grow that we are able to evolve as people because when we are in a just in a happy state when we are just when we are just living a normal casual lives there's no fluctuations there's no challenges nothing there's no growth because that's just how we are we have we don't change because we have no reason to change but when we have when we go through difficult experiences we are forced to challenge our ideas of who we are we are forced to challenge our ideas of what we think is possible 
we are forced to deal with things we probably would never have thought of otherwise and because we are doing all of this we become much better people in the process so thanks so much for watching my video and a huge shout out to everyone who reached out to me last week and i also want to give a huge shout out to my best friend prateek who helps me through every single hard situation that i have had to deal with and guys i'm going to link his instagram down so if you watch this video i want you to hit him up and say that you reached out to him because you watched my video and again if you guys want to reach out to me on instagram i've linked that below i love hearing from you guys if you have more things you want me to talk about do let me know so see you next week bye